everybody, it's Mike here with Lone Wolf Firearm Training. Today on Gun Training 101, we're going to be talking about another fundamental. One of the more important fundamentals is proper sight alignment or aiming. Now within aiming, you have sight alignment, you have sight pick and sight picture, and proper achievement of front and rear sight as far as the relationship. Now there's a huge argument on shooting with both eyes open, uh, shooting with one eye, one eye closed, uh, front sight press using your rear sights. So you'll see a lot of the guns today. They have just combat rear sights, okay, and then the illuminated front sight. There's a bunch of different styles and methods, but today I want to just talk about the fundamentals if you're getting started in shooting on how to have proper sight alignment and achieve proper sight alignment for target shooting. And then at the end, I'll relate it to defensive shooting, combative style shooting on what you need to do for that. Now the proper sight alignment with a firearm is an even relationship between your front post and your rear sights. Now when I say even relationship, what I'm talking about is the distance between the two. If I have my two rear sights and my front post, there needs to be an even gap on both sides when, when aiming down your firearm. And then across the top should be level. So if I decide to engage this target, you have your rear sights, we'll use my fingers, in your front sight, front sight post. There needs to be even in the middle and elevation center. Okay, you can deviate right, deviate left, but for proper sight alignment to hit where you're aiming, you need to show even in the middle and place it on your target. It's extremely simple, but more the discussion comes into when to use that. Now, for me personally, majority of the training we do now is uh, defensive concealed carry uh, quick response shooting engaging your target where you don't have as much time to properly align your sight that doesn't mean I don't recommend training this way uh, I'm all about the aim small miss small method if you initially start out at the range and you practice you're getting warmed up and you're gonna target shoot as in you're gonna use your sights you're gonna get the proper focus relationship rear front sight and on your sight picture. And that's perfectly fine. Just understand that if you're going to be a concealed carry holder or military law, whatever it may be, most of the time in a threat situation, you don't have time to sit there and line up your sights. That's why there's the common front sight press. Okay, Your eye can catch that front sight and you can press it on your target because within close quarter, a little deviation does not matter. And if you have proper mechanics, you're gonna be on target and you're gonna hit where you're aiming at. So what I highly recommend when you come out to the range, proper sight alignment, okay? Get your warm ups in. Make sure everything, you feel fine. And then you don't do that the whole time. You need to move into, if you're wanting to do defensive style shooting, shooting more instinctively, shooting closer quarter and engaging your target based on your proper mechanics of holding your firearm using that front sight. Me personally, 98% of the time I shoot with both eyes open. I have training firearms that we use that don't have sights on them. And that's for a reason. The reason is, in a close court situation, I want you to be as instinctive as possible. I want you to be able to point and shoot. And it shows me how proper or improper your body mechanics are. If you can aim your firearm at the target and hit the seven every time, and then I take your sights or I cover up your sights, you should be able to hit that seven if you have proper instinctive mechanics with from your draw to your press on the target and that's really what we try to teach uh, the main time we will use sites where you're going to close your non-dominant eyes when you're at distance because at distance things get smaller and you have the time to line up your sights you're a target shooting okay but there's a difference between target shooting and defensive shooting and i think that's where the argument comes but for today target shooting proper sight alignment, relationship between the front and the rear sight, even space placed on the target properly with your sight picture. Uh, so we'll go ahead, I'm going to try to get an angle where I can show you guys sight alignment. We'll see how that works and stay tuned. Alright guys, so what I'm going to do for this one, I'm actually going to show you on a training pistol we use. It's called the CERT. Kind of got my arms wrapped around the camera. Um, it's a laser training pistol. I use it all the time with students. It's a great, great tool for what we call dry fire practice. You can run, your, run around your house combat style. You're not going to injure anybody. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to attempt 
to show you proper side alignment uh, with this through the camera so I can get that focus just so you guys can get an understanding of where I'm coming from. I'm going to shoot them in the hip. Um, but that's what you're looking for. Now these combat style blacked out rear sights, they are actually good for close quarter if you're going to be focusing on front sight press at a distance shooting they can be a little bit more difficult but that doesn't mean there's anything wrong with them it's just a different a completely different style of training but like I said rear sight front sight proper spacing of the front post to the rear even spacing and flat across the top one thing I've also done with shooters um, with like target rears is we'll take a little piece of tape and put it across the top so there's still that window and that allows to gather their focus almost like a peep to really focus that target front sight in between the rear post it's just a different tip um, once again you guys thank you for joining me stay tuned we're going to get into trigger control and follow through in our next videos hope you have a great day it's mike from gun training 101 we'll see you soon